Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to 302budgetbuild.com. Well, today we're starting off by starting to put some new parts into the motor. Uh, what you can see here is we have a high volume oil pump by Melling, and we have the matching oil pump screen. Now, this is a stock setup uh, with a little bit more performance than stock. So the entire point of this build is to, is to rebuild the 302 roller um, the right way we want to rebuild it with quality products and have good performance all on a good budget. So these parts are really easily obtainable. Uh, they're of course made in the USA. That's exactly what you want. Right here again, made in the USA. Uh, you want to use quality parts. Now this screen uh, was available at uh, Advanced Auto Parts. I got it for uh, 12, 12 and change. And uh, this pump was actually, uh, I got it at my local shop, Gearhead, uh, for around 35 or 45. I will have the exact pricing here on the website. So what you want to do is start off with good quality parts. And also, the great thing about the melling, uh, the high volume, is you get the harden, the new, uh, the new rod. And this is a very important uh, step in the oil pump process. Don't forget to replace your rod. Don't forget the rod. Without this, it doesn't turn the pump, so you're not going to have any engine. Uh, you're not going to have any engine oil circulating in your engine. You're going to really be upset when you have to tear it all back down just to put this shaft in it. So let's go over here to the motor, and I'm going to show you exactly where these components go and exactly how to do it. It's real simple. You got two bolts here that hold in the pump to the block, and you got two bolts here that hold the screen over here to the actual pump. So let's jump over here. Okay, here we are at the engine block. And I want you guys to look at that hole right there next to that gear on the camshaft. That hole is where your uh, new um, oil pump shaft is gonna go into. So let's zoom out. You can see exactly where I'm at here. We're at the front of the block. There's your timing gears. So you're gonna kinda come in, look at that cylinder, and right there is where you're gonna go with your shaft. So, pretty straightforward. The shaft is going to go in with this little uh, lock washer here. It's going to head in this way so it doesn't over penetrate the block. So we're just going to go ahead and drop it in here like this. And it's going to stop right there. So you see how it's just kind of sitting in here and we know that it's guided into that hole in there. You can see the, the light kind of coming through the hole there. That's where the washer rests. So now you're ready to put your pump on. So grab your pump. Okay, now that you have your pump, what you want to do is go ahead and take your pump in this orientation here. You're going to be looking down at the pump like this. And before you go any farther, you want to make sure that shaft goes into this Allen uh, hex area here on the pump. This is actually what turns and pumps your oil. So with the shaft visible right here, you want to kind of orientate uh, the bolt holes here and look here at the shaft right there. And you want to make sure that that mates up. So with that locked in, just like so, you wanna go ahead and move your pump into alignment here and start to put your bolts in here. Okay, once you've tightened down your bolts here, uh, you're gonna be using, just for your reference, a 9 16 open end wrench. Get those to proper torque spec on both sides, tighten those down. You're gonna move on to your screen. So grab your screen here. Uh, take a look here at how it's actually set up. So we got a bolt hole here and a bolt hole here, and we look, we wanna look at the shape of this here in reference to our screen here. So if we mounted it this way, it would put the screen way out in front of the motor. So we obviously know it's gotta go in this direction here. So what you wanna do is grab your gasket that was supplied and go ahead and get those bolts in there and get them down tight. Okay, we're giving it one less snug turn there with our half inch wrench. And that completes the installation of the oil pump and the oil screen. And this is very important, probably one of the most overlooked components of the, uh, of the motor because, I mean, really, essentially, without a proper oiling system, you're not going to have proper performance. You're going to have problems with bearings. You're going to have seizing. Everyone knows how important it is to have good oiling. So that completes the installation of the oil pump and screen. And if you have any questions, pipe them into the comments box.